Last year, TV presenter and mother of three, Emma Willis, spent 10 weeks working on the front line of the Princess Alexandra Hospital's maternity unit. Well done. It's something I always, always wanted to do, and thank you for, for letting me live it. Now, Emma is returning to finish her training. Really got hooked with us. Yeah. yeah. I love it. I love it. To become a fully qualified maternity care assistant that could work in any hospital in the country. I feel like there's so much to learn. She'll be more independent. Ah, you're one of us. Across high risk wards ah, ah. and in theatre. Hello. It's a little bit broody for a second then. Supporting a dedicated team of midwives. That's it, that's really good. Keep that going, keep that going. Push it away. Push it away. Push, 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 push. That's the one, that's the one. Emma will share the pressures. Emergency team, please go to the labor ward theater. The fears. I'm scared. And the joys. We're going to have a baby. Oh, I love you, little lady of helping to bring new life <laughs> into the world. Oh, my God! <sighs> it's going to be a wreck by the end of this. This potentially looks like maternal. Some pregnancies are more complicated than others. At the Princess Alexandra Hospital, they monitor high-risk mums-to-be in their antenatal unit. I want to do lots. Um, Charlie's all stopped. Everything's stopped. It's the start of a new shift for Emma. Do you want to go and do these? Yeah, I'd love to, yeah. And like the other MCAs, it's her role to check the lady's vital signs every four hours. We're about to go and do um, 10 o'clock ops, but there's a lady called Bethany that needs manual. I'm OK with this. <laughs> I'm OK with actually doing manual blood pressure. I'm just not very good at finding the equipment or knowing where it is. <laughs> First time mum, Beth, is not yet full term. No. <laughs> yeah. She and partner Chloe have come in due to Beth's high blood pressure. Bethany, you OK? No, you're yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you all right if I do your obs? Yeah, that's fine. And you need um, manual blood pressure, right? Now you are testing my skills. <laughs> it's the one thing that I can't do whilst talking. <laughs> Chloe has a son from a previous relationship. She and Beth met on a dating app. She was a very shy person, so we were talking for about a month before we actually met, and then since then we've been inseparable. Her first date was actually at her sister's house. I met her whole family on our first date. We'd only been together about five months when we decided to have a child together. 144 over 72. We looked at donors and through going through the clinic and it just worked out very expensive. Let me write it down before I put it in. So we found this website where we could meet a donor um, and not pay the high, massive expenses for it. And she's now having our little boy. Beth is likely to be induced because she has numerous conditions that are making her pregnancy difficult. And why did, what, what, what brought you in? Dizziness, um, headaches. Yeah. And at one point they thought she had a blood clot on the brain, so you're kind of thinking, oh my God. Early signs of preeclampsia. Lupus. I've got lupus as well. Oh, you've got lupus, right, OK. What is lupus? My um, immune system's overactive. Right. So it starts attacking different areas of my body. And when did you find out you had preeclampsia? Three days ago, four days ago. <laughs> yeah, the symptoms started about four or five weeks ago. So they said they'll keep an eye on it. Mm. And the plan is, do you know, have they, is there a plan in place? Or? <laughs> So you just done. have to kind of wait and see, don't you, what happens? Which is probably the last thing you want to do. So if you have a pre-existing condition and pregnancy and then preeclampsia, that is just a whole 
brain full of worry, I'd just be worrying beyond all belief. Great. I hope that they remain happy, healthy and safe until she's meant to have her induction. Do you know what you're having? Boy. Every time she sits up, you can see his literally body and his bum sticking out. Really? Well, good luck. Um, and Buzz, if you need anything. OK, see you in a bit. On average, there are 12 babies born on the maternity unit in any 24-hour period. Yesterday, 21 babies were born. Absolute mayhem. It was so busy. Midwife Nagma is a labour ward coordinator and works nights. I've been in this trust for 39 years. Good luck. I'm from Iran. We had to relocate to UK in 1978. You look at me. You will come to me. Lovely. There was no other options for me at that time, apart from doing my nursing. So I done my nursing and my midwifery and uh, never looked back. Did you get my message? Delivering babies is very addictive. Being kind to people and caring towards people is addictive. And literally, your hands are itching to get that pair of gloves on and, uh, you know, deliver a baby. Waiting game. It is a waiting game. Deep breaths. Beth and her partner, Chloe, have returned for her induction. The team are going to stimulate her labour early due to complications. Another contraction done. Beth has preeclampsia and lupus potentially dangerous to both mum and baby. Hello. Hi, my name is Nahme. I've taken over your care to look after you. How are you feeling, darling? Not too bad. A senior midwife of nearly 40 years experience, Nagma specialises in complex cases. So really plan would be that I would be examining you down below to see what you're doing and start off the hormone drip at the back of your hand. Is that all right with you? Just taking your breath away this one. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Is that okay if I get my beads together? Perfect. Thank you. Oh, nice mess. Nagma will regularly update the doctor as to how Beth's body is coping. This lady, uh, her past medical history, she has got systemic lupus. 34 weeks, started having PET and massive proteinuria. I love high risk because majority of your work in your brain is to manage what is happening and also to anticipate what is to come. I've taken PET blood, send them off. She's on a CTG, contracting roughly about one in 10, one in eight. Okay, good. Lovely. Beth is doing well, but the team are braced for all possible outcomes. So your drip has started. So at the moment is a little bit of a wait and see. Just keep everything crossed that we don't have any jip with your blood pressure. We've never had one who stayed in there forever, you know. And certainly this young man is not going to be the first. Midwife Nagma is looking after Beth, who has now been in labor for 24 hours. And partner Chloe has been with her all the way. Beth, I have just checked your blood results again. Your hemoglobin level is quite low. Beth has lupus and her low blood count is a symptom. Are you OK at the moment, Beth? It means she's at greater risk of complications from bleeding after the birth. May I pop a couple of fingers gently inside to examine you, sweetheart? You are fully dilated, my darling. Time to vacate the premises. Is the pain there? Could you put your arms under your thighs for me, please? Take a big breath in for me. Hold on to it, chin on your chest and push down to your bottom, so you're pushing towards the mattress. Think waist down. You know when you go to the toilet to do a pull? 
is the same feeling. Now, big pushes. That's yeah. it. And again, oh yes, you can. No negativity in this room. Come on. Go. Harder, 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 going, harder, going. harder, harder, harder. You can do this and you know you can. Push. Push, 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 push. That is the one. Come down here, darling. Come down. And again, push for me. Go on. Yes, you can. No, no, no. Listen, I want to show Chloe your baby's head. I'm here, I'm here. Okay, don't panic. Give me a push. Let Chloe see your baby's head, darling. That's your baby's head, Chloe. Can you see? It is so close, my darling. Give me a push. Don't be scared. Yeah, he's right I there. Know, I know. He's literally right there. Your baby's as happy as a laddie. I'm scared of it. Don't be scared. You are amazing. How many more pushes? To tell you the truth, good pushes, not more than about three or four. Push it, don't be frightened. Keep going. Keep pushing. Oh, no, no, and again, no, 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 come on, right don't there. be frightened. Keep the head going. is nearly out. Push. Oh, okay. His head's right there. We're literally about to push his head out. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's it. Keep going. After nearly two hours of pushing, Beth's baby is born. But there's a problem. Your cheeky chops. Maybe his head's out. Three loops of cord around the neck. Oh my God! Your cheeky chops. Good job, baby. This is hold on a minute, hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. One, four loops, two, three, four, and five. There we go, my lovely. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Do you want to move your dress, darling? It's your skin here. Congratulations. <laughs> the hard work is not over. The placenta still needs to be delivered. Beth is at high risk of bleeding. So Nagma is prepared. Once the placenta comes out, I'm going to start that drape. Something warm coming between your legs. Perfect. It feels like naked. Yes, blood. Can I, sorry, can I get... I've just pulled the buzzer. Okay, darling. Ah. I know, I know. What's the problem? Don't panic, don't panic. There is a lot of people coming in here, you okay, darling? Ah. I know, I know, I have got to rub up your wound. Beth is hemorrhaging, which could be life-threatening. Be careful with the floor. You're going to jump. 29, I've pulled the emergency buzzer. Could I have the big lights on, please? Thank you. Can I have an Instilla gel, please? She has got a HP of 97. I have started the Syntocin on already 40 units. You remember I told you there is a possibility of you bleeding? That's fine, that's all right. But clots expelled 0833, yes. Can I have another inco, my lovely, please? Sorry, doctor. Can I have a 10 units of Syntocin on from there, please, darling? All right, my darling. Okay. All right. It's just, you know, I said to you, because your hemoglobin is low, Beth, sweetheart, going to get these legs to come up again. Perfect. Right, get in here. Get in. Beth's uterus isn't contracting. Well, she needs by manual compression. 
Nagma is going to try and contract her uterus by applying pressure. This is blood coming down here. This is their best chance of stopping right. the blood loss. By manual compression. Eight thirty-five. Right, so this is your bleeding seems to have settled. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put some stitches in. The team's efforts have worked. The bleeding has stopped and Beth is out of danger. We are good. Lovely, thank you. Right. Blood pressure is reading. All right, love. Oh, thank you. Well done. Thank you very much. Right. Right. Claire, darling. I always feel overwhelmed with the responsibility because the mother has put her life and her child's life in your hands. Beth, you are absolutely amazing. You are a hero. Well done. He is lovely. You're going to come see your mummy. It was really horrible because obviously I didn't know what was going on. Just going to pop in. Look at the face, mummy. And I didn't know how much blood she was losing, what would have happened. I felt massively helpless. Yeah, that's mummy, don't you? Hey. I'm really proud of Beth. Like, really proud. Yeah. She really is strong. A bit overwhelming, um, but yeah, I'm glad he's here. They can now introduce the baby to older brother, Isaac. We have a big brother that wants to meet you. <laughs> brother! He just wanted to come out, so he came out. Say hello, Isaac. Hello. 